everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be completely redecorating my bedroom. I think I've briefly mentioned in a couple of videos before that I am going to redecorate my bedroom and this is the day. I'm up bright and early, I'm just waiting for Callum to come over and we are going to get started. We're just completely, basically flipping my bedroom. I had a lot of like black in my bedroom because a lot of the furniture that came with my apartment was black just personally in the bedroom and I just don't really want that anymore. I want it to be white, kind of like a white creamy sort of colour with a little bit of brown, like a neutral sort of brown, the same colour as my TV stand. So I'm I'm gonna put all of the furniture left in my bedroom apart from my bed back into my storage unit and then I've ordered new furniture to go in its place and then we're actually gonna be painting my bed I'm getting the carpets professionally cleaned which guys it is gonna be disgusting like I'm actually embarrassed to admit how dirty my carpet is probably gonna be hence why I'm getting them cleaned like professionally so they're actually gonna do a really good job because I cannot clean that carpet like I have tried and I cannot clean that carpet so yeah it's gonna be a very exciting but long day so it is currently 8 34 yeah 8 34 and Callum has come over at 9 so I've got about 20 minutes I'm going to show you guys what my bedroom looks like at the moment because I've just completely emptied it out and then we can start I think we're going to start by painting the bed so I hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started well first of all here is everything emptied out of my bedroom so I had to empty my chest of drawers and I've got some new drawers so that is all clothes and makeup around there and then I've got more clothes just all my bed pillows that I've taken off and then these are all the decorations that I had in my room it's so like blankets this little like blanket holder even though it was actually meant to be a plant holder but I never bought plants for it my mirror pampas grass lamps candles sunglasses jewelry all of that stuff but some of this stuff is actually going to my friends I'm not going to be putting it back in my bedroom because I am redecorating. Here is my very, very, very empty bedroom. So my bed literally has nothing on it apart from the duvet and two pillows and I am actually getting a new duvet so this is going to go in recycling. And then I've got my two bedside tables. They are going to go into my storage unit and that lamp I'm no longer keeping either. In this little corner I used to have a rattan chair and instead I'm actually going to have a new chair here just because even though it looked really pretty, I'll be honest, it really wasn't that comfy and I never wanted to sit there so I wanted to get something that was actually comfy and would make him want to sit in this little corner of my bedroom and then you have got these three drawers over here and do you see what I mean like I love the nude color but I really don't like the black and obviously because they're not my drawers I can't paint them so I'm going to put those into my storage unit and I've got some new drawers that are going to go just there I really was debating swapping it around and having this mirror here on this wall and then the drawers there so maybe that will happen maybe it won't I don't know I'm going to have a little play but that is what my room currently looks like it feels so empty empty like there's just nothing in here apart from my stuff on the shelves and then here is my bed the thing is I love my bed and there's no way I wanted to get rid of it so what we're going to actually do is paint it so we're just going to paint the dark brown black bits so just these bits here and the edging of the headboard we don't need to paint the bottom of the bed because the duvet is going to cover that so hopefully it shouldn't take too long but we're going to paint it like a nice whitey creamy sort of color just to match in with the new bedroom colors <laughs> We're about to start painting the bed. This is the paint that I went for. Honestly, I have never bought paint before, so I didn't really know what one to get. But uh, this is the Dulux Quick Dry, and I went for the shade Natural Calico. I think that's what it's called. And here is my bed with no mattress and nothing on it. I feel like I've just moved into the room because everything is so empty. There is loads of stuff under my bed. I'm going to do, well, I'm going to sort all of that out a little bit later because I've bought boxes just so it's a little bit more organised because as you can see right now, it's kind of all just shoved underneath. But we're going to paint the headboard, and then the thing is we don't really need to paint all of this because all of that is going to be covered but we might need to paint that little bit there because the bedside table you're still going to be able to see that bit bed has had one coat we did decide in the end just to paint the whole bed because Callum made a really good point of like when I'm lifting up the duvet you're going to be able to see all of this wood here like when the bed's made obviously it'll be covered but we just decided yeah neither in my head I thought it was going to take ages but we've literally painted the whole bed with one coat in about 20 minutes so oh yeah no we're not going to do that bit because obviously yeah the match will be on it but one more coat and that will actually be fully done that was so quick I thought it was going to take four or five coats but whilst this dries we're going to take 
the furniture to my storage unit. The room is going to feel so empty in a minute. We're going to take these. I tried to lift the drawers up and I thought they were very heavy, but Callum said they're not too bad. So we'll take the drawers down first and then we'll come back up for the bedside tables. <laughs> We've taken it all to the storage unit and we are back and now about to do a second coat on the bed. It has already dried and we only did it like an hour ago, so fingers crossed. It only needs one more coat and then it will be done. Okay, I've had to have a change of clothes because I am off to Paris tomorrow with Callum and um, I want to wear that tracksuit and I started getting paint on it without thinking and thank god I did change. So I've just done a second coat and I'll have paint everywhere. But I am going to start to open some of these parcels. I've basically just saved up all the things that I've got from my room in the hallway in the office and literally haven't opened a thing, which might be a bad idea. I don't know what anything looks like, but it looks so. A nice surprise. These several like, three four weeks ago, so I've kind of forgotten what I actually got. Callum is just finishing a another coat on the bed, and then we're gonna go to the drawers, and the carpet cleaners are coming at two. <gasps> okay, what have we got in here? We've got lots of boxes. We have got this my blanket at the end of my bed. Yeah, this is my new blanket. We've got a nice little like big thick deep skin rug, and then. Ooh, I basically ordered a load of like white slash cream slash nude accessories for my room just so everything is a little bit brighter because as you can see behind me from all the decor a lot of it is black so we've just gone for a bit of a colour switch up what is this? oh I think this is my vase love this vase how gorgeous is that? that's going to look amazing with the new colour of the bed so we can find a place for that then I got oh this is my new like jewellery dish I thought this was so nice Look at that, it's like a little puddly pool sort of shape, so I got that. And then final one, I actually cannot remember what is in this one either. No, I remember. It's a bowl. I have this bowl on my... Oh, it's there. It's on my coffee table. And I got the miniature version of it. I thought this could either go on the new drawers or on my new bedside table. That is everything that I got from H&M. I also got some lights and a tree, so I'm going to open that in a second as well. These parcels in my office are also for my bedroom, so I'm going to open these now. I think these should be two pillows in here. If not, I'm not entirely sure what that is. And then these are my lamps. These are so cool. Wait until I show you these. So I've just unboxed this light. And basically, I got it from Dunelm. So if I can find it, I will link it on the side. But basically, I wanted lights that go on the wall. And obviously, I live in a rented place. So I can't get, like, actual lights that screw into the wall. So I found these ones that you can put up with, like, really, like, thick command strips. And it will make the room just, I feel, just, like, look more cozy. And a little bit more expensive, I think. These were, like, they weren't even expensive. They were, like, £30 each. And I got two, one for either side of my bed. But this bit will just go onto the wall like this so you just stick that on the back of the wall you obviously can screw it but we're going to use um command strips and then it goes like that and there's actually a little golden like plate thing that you screw on here so it's like a mini table as well and then in here you have got the glass dome but so excited about these because i feel like they'll just add something a little bit different to my room as opposed to just having like a lamp standing on the side of my bedside table Yesterday whilst I was decorating, I needed a super quick and easy meal to eat. So I actually cooked myself and Callum a HelloFresh meal. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is basically a meal subscription service. And the meals are so good, I cannot even put it into words. I personally love HelloFresh because I find it super easy and convenient and quick to cook as well. You choose the meals that you want and they will deliver them all in a box and then you get these numbered recipe cards and inside the box the ingredients will be numbered so that's what I mean, it makes it super easy and super convenient. Especially yesterday when I was literally ran off my feet trying to decorate and get everything done, a HelloFresh meal just fit perfectly into the day. I actually had two HelloFresh meals yesterday, I'm not going to lie. For lunch we had the sirloin steak and the hand cut rosemary chips and then for dinner we had the truffle chicken and the truffle chicken oh my god obviously i've got an offer for you guys so if you scan the qr code i'm gonna pop up here you will actually get 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off the next eight boxes the code hello anna 60 will also get you this offer and i will leave a link in the description box down below like i said i love hello fresh i feel like it helps me eat so much healthier it's super easy it's super convenient and it's affordable what's not to love little update we actually need to go to b&q because we need to get a few things we need to go and get a new screwdriver for the drawers we need to go and get some of these tiny mini light bulbs to go in my bedside table lamp and then we need to get what did you say it was called like the little covering 
cable hider that's it because they're like they're still plugging like you have to plug them in and there's going to be like a white cable dangling so it would be nice if we could like hide the cable because i feel like it will look more clean and i feel like there was one more thing oh i need to get some gloves but my apartment right now is a mess let me show you i mean it's gonna get ugly before it gets pretty but um there is literally barely any floor space right now we've found the light bulbs i've never seen light bulbs like this in no, my life before LEDs, yeah i think warm Not white neutral, yeah because neutral white i don't think it's as nice yeah, got the light bulbs white. screwdrivers there's so many to choose from your choice oh my god this reminded me of when i paid 50 pound for a pair of pliers in new york <laughs> and then here they're what two pound 50 oh we're back from being q Callum is pretty much the same over halfway with the drawers now they're a lot smaller than i thought for some reason like i checked the length but i never checked the height because i honestly just assumed that they'd be quite high and they are i don't know they're considerably smaller than the other ones they? yeah they're quite a lot smaller than Callum and Callum's over six foot so we're... how tall are you five foot ten why well, I just bigged you up, you should have kept it six foot. But they're really nice though. I think they'll be nice when they've got the drawers in. I've just had to clear all my sofa because I'm getting the sofa cleaned as well. Why does my dining room table literally look like the pillow section in HomeSense? Like I genuinely had no idea that I had this many pillows and blankets in the house. So yeah, I might give a few of these away because I definitely do not need that many pillows. The carpets are currently being cleaned and the drawers are nearly finished being put together. We are a lot later behind schedule than I what I thought we were going to be. It's quarter to four, but I reckon we'll have everything done by half six. And then here's the bedside table. How nice is this? It's from West Elm. And I'm not going to lie, it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but it was. it's so beautiful. Like, and I only got one of them. You guys will see, hopefully the vision come to life, but I didn't think I needed two, so I just got one. Day. I would have shown you guys earlier but they were cleaning my sofa whilst we were like putting everything in the bedroom and the hoover thing was really loud but the bedroom looks so different and so much better obviously the bed is in the same place I've had to kind of keep the same layout because you can't really change the layout of this room but Callum had a good idea and bought in this plant from the office put it next to the mirror which ties in really nicely with this plant obviously I need to pull all the branches out we're just gonna put the lights on the wall first and then we're gonna kind of decorate it but the table is in the drawers are in I think we're gonna put this mirror up on the wall just because obviously these drawers are a little bit smaller so having it up on the wall will make a big difference but it looks amazing and the carpet thank you so much carpet bird for cleaning my carpets and my sofa i'll show you guys the sofa when i've tidied the living room the difference is insane so i've ordered a new quilt i got a super king one because my bed's a king size but i wanted the quilt to be like super hanging over but i'm so confused how a quilt like a super king size one is in here or a duvet shirt. but i'm going to assume it's going to all puff out when i open it because i think it's going to be like that decompressor Packaging. Decompress. I don't know what it's called. Oh yeah, it's oh it's gonna be so satisfying when we take this out. It is vacuum packed in here. So once we have done the lights, I'm gonna get this out and we can make my bed. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh, oh my god, god I'm not gonna want to get out of bed. Oh my god, that's gonna be so nice. Oh my god, I just made the bed. I feel like I'm gonna have to show you like in the middle of the day when it's not as sunny, so I will film another clip. The bed is giving hotel bed. bed i cannot even tell you how different last night's sleep was like just from adding a few bits into my room and changing it around i really do feel like i've made a whole new bedroom and i just didn't feel motivated in my other bedroom like that's why i really wanted to decorate it it was just very dark i felt it was just very gloomy it wasn't really me and now like this whole room just feels like my little like bubble like my little safety bubble and i absolutely love it i'm over the moon i still need to do a few little things like the way i've set out these drawers i'm not really a massive fan and i still need to kind of play around with that but this whole area here is 10 out of 10 yesterday i was so embarrassed so obviously had the carpet cleaners around right and they were so lovely shout out carpet bird they cleaned my sofa and my bedroom carpet and it needed it like that is embarrassing in itself to show the difference between like the before and after of my bedroom and my sofa anyway whilst i'm here not only did i spill paint all on my floor and then one of them accidentally trod in it i felt horrendous like honestly felt so embarrassed i was like oh my god i cannot believe i've done this literally the second they walked in i had 
like paint everywhere. So me and Callum are like scrambling trying to clean up all of the paint on this floor. Like spraying those of like wood cleaner on the floor because I was like oh my god this is the only thing that's going to get it up. I was like this is literally paint on my floor. Like you panic. You go into panic mode. Anyway so I spray this wood cleaner on the floor and about a year ago I had my floors cleaned and when I came back into my house I was slipping everywhere like to the point it was literally like a slip and slide. Like, I couldn't walk on my floors and I was like oh my gosh like, what have they used on my floor to make it like this? Like it's like I had Heelys on 24-7. Anyway it must have been this floor cleaner because I used that. The next thing you know we're all sliding about everywhere. The carpet cleaners have got their like shoe covers on and obviously they're like really slippy. So they're all slipping over the floor and I was like oh my god this is awful. And then me and Callum went to pick up the drawers, these drawers that we'd built in the kitchen and as we picked them up the full thing just kind of fell apart like the top and the sides and we were like oh my god. And I just you know in, in that moment when you just feel embarrassed and I was like, they must think I am crazy. Like, it probably doesn't sound that embarrassing, but in that moment, it was so embarrassing. I just had to tell you guys that because for two, three hours yesterday, I literally wanted the ground to swallow me up. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. I'm honestly so happy with how my room has turned out. I'm gonna link as many of the products as I can on the side of this video, or if you're watching on a phone, you can just click here and it will say like view products, and I will link as many of them as I can. I am over the moon with how my room has turned out and I feel like this was a really good room transformation like it wasn't just me cleaning my room it was a full-on transformation so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up remember to check out HelloFresh I will leave the QR code on screen here again and other than that I love you all so much and I will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye